Hello everyone, this is Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to the Daily Dose series. This series is premiered every day from Monday to Friday. And in today's session, I will be talking about one of the important concepts of fluid mechanics that is how to determine the hydrostatic force using the pressure frame. Alright, so this is my quick introduction. My name is Chandrasekhar, mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi and also engineering services examination qualified. So this, in this series, we actually discuss either a concept or a question which is very, very important from your examination point of view, right? So this series is running for mechanical as well as civil students and every day in the morning time, you will get uh, sessions every day from Monday to Friday. So let us talk about the pressure prism, how to determine the hydrostatic force. The, press, the concept of pressure prism is used in case of surfaces with constant width. The width should be constant, then only, then only it becomes easier to use the pressure prism, constant width. For an example, the plane surface can be a rectangle or a square. So, for, let us see, there is a plate, rectangular plate kept in the static fluid. The width of the plate is B, which is constant. Width is B, which is constant, and the height of the plate is H. The height of the plate is H, like this. Now, the free surface is here. So, how to draw the pressure prism? At the free surface, the pressure is equal to zero. The pressure will be equal to zero at the free surface, and the pressure linearly increases with depth in case of, the pressure linearly increases with depth in case of, static incompressible fluid according to hydrostatic law. So, the pressure here is zero. If we keep on increasing the pressure, so the pressure at the bottom will be equal to rho fluid into G into H. So, the pressure prism will be a triangle. The pressure prism will be a triangle like this. This will be the pressure prism. So, if we can find out to find out the hydrostatic force, we can find out the volume of the pressure prism. What is the volume of the pressure prism? So, it is a triangle. Area of the triangle into width will be the volume. So, area of the triangle is half into base. That is the rho fluid. It is the density of the fluid. Into G into H. Into height is capital H. Into width of the surface. That is the magnitude of hydrostatic force acting on the vertical plane surface kept in a static fluid. And also, not only the magnitude of hydrostatic force, we can also find out the line of action of this hydrostatic force. The line of action of this hydrostatic force will pass through centroid of the pressure prism. Can you find out the centroid of the pressure prism? For this triangle, centroid is this point. So, the line of action of this hydrostatic force F will pass through the centroid of the pressure prism. If we find out the depth of this centroid of the pressure prism from the free surface that is called as depth of central pressure for the hydrostatic force. So, it will be 2h by 3 from the top. Isn't it 2h by 3? This distance will be 2h by 3. And from the bottom it will be h by 3. This will be h by 3. So, this is how we can find out the magnitude of the hydrostatic force as well as the location of central pressure, depth of Cp, from the free surface of the liquid. Right? So, the pressure prism can be utilized for immiscible multiple fluids. For an example, there are multiple fluids. There is a fluid rho 1, there is another fluid rho 2. Rho 1 and rho 2 are two fluids and the, the vertical plate is having height h1 into rho 1 fluid and the height h2 is in rho 2 fluid and the width of the plate is b. So, the width is constant. So, if we draw the pressure prism, this is the free surface, let us say. Pressure here will be 0 at the free surface. Pressure will increase linearly at the interface. The pressure will be rho 1 g h1, isn't it? What is the pressure at the bottom? The pressure at the bottom will be equal to rho 1 g h1 
plus according to hydrostatic law plus rho 2 g h 2 isn't it so this is how the pressure phase will be drawn that is how the pressure phase will be drawn so volume of the pressure phase will be the magnitude of hydrostatic force so the pressure phase can be divided into three simple figures first one is triangle then rectangle and then triangle so the total hydrostatic force will be equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 what is f1 f1 is the f1 will be the volume of the pressure prism 1 what is the volume it is a triangle half into base base is rho 1 g h1 into height height is equal to h1 multiplied by width that is the volume and what is f2 f2 is the volume of pressure prism 2 this is the pressure prism 2 so it will be a base into height rho 1 g h1 into height is h2 into width that will be the volume and f3 is the volume of the third pressure prism so it is a triangle so half into base rho 2 g h2 is the base and height will be h2 multiplied by width right and we can also find out the location of central pressure how by equating moment about the free surface if we equate to find central pressure we can equate moment about the free surface moment about free surface if we equate the moment about the free surface the total hydrostatic force multiplied by hcp that is the total moment about the free surface this is the free surface there are three pressure phase is equal to f1 into h1 plus f2 into h2 plus f3 into h3 so f total we all know we need to find out hcp where h1 is what h1 is the centroid of the pressure prism 1 what is the centroid if this height is h1 this height is h2 what is the centroid of the pressure prism 1 c1 that is 2h1 by 3 what is h2 h2 will be the centroid of the pressure prism 2 that is c2 the depth of centroid is h2 so it will be capital h1 plus h2 by 2 isn't it and what is s3 h3 is the depth of centroid c3 of the pressure pressure prism 3 from the free surface so it will be h1 plus 2 h2 by 3 if you put the value of h1 h2 h3 we can find out the depth of cp of the hydro total hydrostatic force all right so that is all for this session see you next time in such video thank you guys thank you very much